how's it going out there everybody hope everybody's having a great day welcome to the channel i'm your host cash and this is the weekly recap what is weekly recap let me tell you about it i'm going to talk about the week of operating this truck in the united states i have a fuel efficient operation i got a 2016 cascadia and i'm leased to an 80 20 split reefer carrier and if that's not your thing sorry you know go do you, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I don't talk about my carrier. I recommend you do research, find the carrier that works for you. And also, uh, these numbers are not to brag. They are not to complain. They just are what they are. This is informational purposes only. It's not to sway you into doing anything or not doing anything. And uh, just trying to help people out with some real world information. I suggest you base your uh, company business plan on multiple sources of information not just mine and uh, that's it let's get to it so i like to start my week out in minnesota i like to go out i like to come back this particular week i think was planned out for someone else and then i kind of had to cover it because this is not a lane i normally run like this it's a little bit more miles than I like to run in a week, but either way, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I started out first load Minnesota down to Georgia. I do this load occasionally here and there. It's not like something I do on like the regular, even though I have done it like three times in the past two months now, but it's, it's there when I want it. So, um, sometimes I get it. Sometimes I don't, but anyway, uh, that load is, uh, Minnesota to Georgia, one pick, one drop, 34 degrees, start and stop, and uh, 40,000 pounds. That's 99 empty miles to go get that. That's 1235 loaded miles, and that pays $3,500 on that load. Now, sometimes you can do better on the spot market, but I tell you, I like having that there when I need it because the last couple months, that 3,500 is, it's been a pretty good lick to go to Georgia on a one pick, one drop. This is a Friday to Monday stop also. Um, so you get it loaded. I don't have to be there super early on Friday, which is nice. If I can get to the house on Thursday, then it allows me some time at the house. And it unloads at, you know, six or seven o'clock in Georgia on Monday. So it's not a bad run. It's uh, my beef with it. It's heavy. Other than that, not a bad run. And then normally I would go from Georgia straight back to Minnesota on this run, but this was set up a little different. Um, so this one had, I went and picked up a load in Georgia that was going down to New Orleans. Okay. Not a lane I typically run, but it took me to a better load than it was, you know, and, and that load, uh, that I went to get was a load that is an ever weak load for my carrier. So I didn't mind going and getting that just to keep it covered. You know what I mean? So I did a load from Georgia down to New Orleans, and that was a dry load, uh, 39,000 pounds, dry load, one mile of deadhead. So that made it kind of okay, I guess. It, it was $2 a mile. It was drive in out of Georgia. It was exactly $2 a mile, and uh, that load was one empty mile. It was literally right down the road from where I delivered, so that was nice, and it was 525 loaded miles, and it paid ten fifty. I mean, they got her at $2 on the, on the head. Load, kind of a little bit of a bummer, honestly, because uh, loaded, loaded in about an hour took five hours to unload, a dry load. Like, just, it, I honestly, when I was there getting unloaded on that load in New Orleans, I thought I was tripping. <laughs> like, I literally thought, did someone put something in my Gatorade? Because it looked like people were moving in slow motion around that place. And they were just, I mean, whoo, man, you talking about some grumpy people at that place. I, I don't want to go back there. I'll just be honest with you. I turned in detention time. We'll see if I get that. I haven't heard nothing back on it yet, but I did turn in detention time because to me, five hours on a dry load is unreal on the unload times. But if you'd have been there, you would have seen. I mean, these people were walking around the parking lot like they're employees. Like, it looked like they were in slow motion. I was like, 
is my brain not working correctly? What is going on here? But either way, got up out of there, went over to Mississippi, Mississippi, 40,000 pound load coming up out of there, 86 empty miles, uh, and that was 55 degrees, I think is what it was, 55, 57, something like that. And um, that was back to Minnesota. So that was 86 empty miles from New Orleans over to Mississippi. 1197 on the loaded miles on that. Uh, that load paid $2,800. So like 230 something a mile. A lot of miles on this week, but the money was okay. I won't call it bad, but I won't call it great either. So let's get into the numbers of this and talk about it. Um, like I said, more miles than I typically want to run in a week. Uh, this was a picked up on Friday morning. I was empty Thursday morning and went right back to up and got that same load out of Minnesota on the next Friday. So I got a day at the house. So basically I got unloaded. I was clear and free truck at the yard at maybe like 11 a.m. And then I didn't come back to work till the next morning till like seven o'clock. So keep in mind, I got I got almost a full day off in this week. So I was getting after it for me. You know, I mean, some of you guys, when I say, oh, it was like, you know, 500 something miles a day average. You're like, uh, yeah, and for me, that's like, whew, uh, what's on fire? Why am I running so hard? You know, is there a dog after me? <laughs> um, so 7350 total revenue on the week 7350 my cut of that 80% is $5880 and uh, let's talk about the miles 3153 on the miles on that whoo that's a lot of miles for this guy 186 empty miles uh 2967 loaded miles and that is 6% deadhead for the week uh that dry load with one empty mile boy that really that really cut the uh, the situation down a little bit there. All miles paying two thirty three a mile, uh, a little low, but hey, um, you know one of them was a dry load, so you got, you're going to lose a little bit on that. I'd say if the middle load was a reefer load, I'd probably been like two fifty all miles on that. I, I can make money at that. I'm, I'm not going broke with two fifty a mile. Dollar eighty six, eighty percent. My cut. Was a dollar eighty six a mile and two forty seven a loaded mile. If you if you take out the deadhead there, uh, overall I'm gonna call it like a middle of the road week. Definitely made some money, but oh, I don't want to go much lower than that. Especially every load being really heavy. You know, forty thousand pounds, thirty nine thousand pounds, forty thousand pounds, like heavy loads. The load back from Mississippi, um, so that the middle load taking five hours to unload made me late picking up the final the the day uh, the third load, and then I had to chug you know like seventy miles an hour, pretty much the whole way back to make the appointment time, of which I was still an hour late. So it's a very tight scheduled load, and you you really can't afford you know to to be there that late you know normally that's a morning load on tuesday and then you got to be you know 1200 miles away on thursday morning so uh you can't like me i, I think i got loaded at like 2 p.m on tuesday so from two, the afternoon of tuesday till thursday morning that's all i had to get back to minnesota that's pushing it for me i mean i know some guys they see that it's like what are you talking about but for me that's pushing it uh, I spent fifteen fifty five on diesel, one thousand five hundred fifty five on diesel, diesel for the truck. I spent one hundred and thirty six dollars on reefer for the trailer. I spent sixty dollars on def. That's a lot of def for me. Uh, normally, I only get def on the way out, but I had a deal where I could get def at you know a pretty decent price uh, while I was out, so I just went ahead and topped it off. Normally, I spend about 40 a week on DEF, but, you know, whatever. Uh, $41 on scales. I scaled every single one of these loads. And I spent $9 on tolls. So that made my veritable cost $1,801. Uh, 
There you go. 1801 on veritable cost. We bring over my $5,880 and I subtract out the 1801. And that leaves me $4,079. And I put 500 of that to the maintenance account. So now I'm down to $3,579. $3,579 left to do what I have to do with. Not bad, but a lot of work to make that money. Uh, fuel cost for the week, $0.49 cents per mile fuel cost. There you go. So. There it is. Keep your fuel costs down. Use some hot shot. Uh, if you get a chance, I would recommend use my link down there to buy the hot shots. I mean, if you're a friend, you know, use my link. If you're some random scallywag, then you go in the truck stop and buy it and pay high end retail prices for it. But between friends, I'm telling you, use my link down there, you know, and get yourself a deal. But, you know, hey, it's your money. You spend it how you want to. And that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Weekly Recap. If you made it this far, smash that like button for me. If you're not a subscriber, think about it. Come join me for a live show. Those are real fun. So turn on that notification. You'll get notified. That's it, folks. Take care of each other out there. Remember, people are more important than trucking. How do I stay cool when recording videos? Well, I just simply set up my Zero Breeze. Super simple setup. Blows cold air right on me. It's kicking ass right now. Love it. If you want to try to get one of these for yourself, go down and click the link below. Use my link when you shop. I get a little piece of the action and, uh, you know, you can enjoy a zero breeze like I do.